decide to go, they got a railroad that'll take you there. Now, that's simple. And you think, well, anybody can understand that, but you'd be surprised how many people going north get on a train that's going west. <laughs> now, why are people going? Their sister's sick. They leaving before they kill somebody, or, or they sitting across with somebody leaving to keep from getting killed. Oh, they can't get satisfied. Oh, they're going to meet somebody. I wish I had a dollar for every time somebody wasn't at the station to meet them. I'd have seen that a lot. And in between time, they done sent the telegram. And by the time the people get there, they done forgot them. Now, if we all stayed in one place, this would be a better world. my backstory. Forget history, because that's his story. And how are they going to already find the land that's already been found by my red-skin cousins? Because you know I've got Indian in my family. They try to make us forget the greats, like George Washington Carver, W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, uh, Malcolm X, uh, Carrie Drew. They're trying to make us feel the black. They're trying to forget Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson. They're trying to stop affirmative action. I'm not crossing over, I'm not going pop, I ain't no new kid on the block. I'm keeping my black street, and before I let you go, somebody gonna know that I love my black skin. Brown sugar, dark chocolate, caramel, bronze melanin that all makes up my black skin. We've been tormented and taunted, executed and exiled from the motherland, brought to another land, only be to be held captive by another man who held us in slavery mentally and physically. But I'm still not giving up my black <laughs> from way back. <laughs> Slang. Well, we wear the masks that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human God, with torn and bleeding hearts we smile. And mouth we marry itself. And why should we be overwise and counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us. While we wear the mask, we smile. Oh, great Christ, our cries. To thee from tortured souls arise, we sing. Oh, the clay is foul beneath our feet and long the mile. But let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. Yeah. Black is the color of darkness, of, of tire beaten streets. Why'd you give me thick lips, a broad nose, and kinky hair? Why'd you make me someone that always gets the hatred stare? Black is the color of a bruised eye when somebody gets hurt. Black is the color of darkness. Black is the color of dirt. God, I think it's time that you make a change. Why don't you redo creation and make everybody the same? Why did I make you black? Why did I make you black? Uh, get up off your knees and see. 
I didn't make you in the color of darkness. I made you in the likeness of me. Black is the color of coal from which beautiful diamonds are formed. Black is the color of oil, black gold, that keeps people warm. Your hair is the texture of a lamb. What a humble creature is he. I am the shepherd who watches over him. I am the one who watches over thee. All the colors of the heavenly rainbow can be found throughout all the nations. But when I blended them together, you became my greatest creation. Honey, jump back. Did the wind blow through the pine? Jump back, honey, jump back. Mockingbirds singing fine. Jump back, honey, jump back. And my heart was beating so when I reached my lady's door that I couldn't bear to go. Jump back, honey, jump back. Put my arm around her waist. Jump back, raised some lips, then took a taste. Ah, jump back, honey, honey, jump back. Love me, honey, love me true. Love me well as I love you. And she said, Oh, I do. <laughs> jump back, honey, jump back. What is the Dandelions? What, what does it mean to be it's, a Dandelion? It's, it's, a movement, it's a movement, you know, well-dressed men, the way they conduct themselves, you know, not just the way they dress, but the way they also carry themselves. Do you think you represent a Dandelion? I think so. How so? I mean, I, I, I try to keep a good attitude towards, you know, other African Americans. Uh, I try to conduct myself in a way where I try to stay out of trouble, and I try to dress, you know, presentable, not my pants hanging off my, you know, how that go. Okay. Well, do you disagree with pants hanging on your pants down low? Yeah, yeah. It, sends, it sends a negative message. I mean, you know, look at the kid Trayvon Martin, you know, they think every black man Didn't I is, say that? Didn't I say that, though? You know. I mean, but you know. What era was this in? I mean, this, this is now. It's still now? It's still now, yeah. So but when did they start this type of dressing and, and this type of statement? Well, if you check on, like, the different countries over in Africa, this is something that they know. They, I mean, they some of the well-dressed men. I mean, they were I thought like, they was trying to be funny when so, I would see the Africans uh, dressed like this. Some people try to say, like, they was, like, gay. They try to mix this with gay, but nah. So, what, all right, so let me ask you, what does Danny Lyon represent? Because I heard when she, they were talking about this, them being the father figure as well as being what? Right. As well as, but what is else that consists of being this type of man? We wear the mask as one of my favorite, favorite poems. Oh, thank you. Paul Longstone's book. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But what did, yeah, what, besides being the father figure, what else is it being in this, this movie? Oh, I mean, you know. Like they had like oh, they were dressed like they had a whole video where they would play the video and you would just watch it. It's, it's like I say, you know. Well, I thank you and I enjoyed thank your you. monologue. Thank you. And what is your name, sir? Tony Robbins. And uh, what year? And I'm a uh, okay. And yeah. what is your major? Theater. All right, go Morgan.